And I'm thinking, you know, these young people who are writing this music, I mean, why not uh, encourage them and give them a, a petri dish, if you will, in which to kind of uh, cultivate their, their gifts? I, mean, I think it's mm -hmm. terrific. And, you know, we can get into a little bit of a rut. Same old, yeah. the familiar, mm -hmm. uh, popular but familiar, and to have something homegrown and, and taught to us by mm -hmm. our own young mm -hmm. people couldn't, couldn't get better. And you know what, both, you know, the young and the old when it comes to the worship wars in churches, and there are, believe me, worship wars, to the point where a lot of churches have a traditional service and a contemporary service, neither of which is traditional or contemporary. Um, you know, it's not both, it's, it's not either or, it's both and. Okay. It's both and, yeah. And, and the, the, uh, those in favor of the newer stuff need to be as tolerant of those in favor of the older stuff as the people in favor of the older stuff need to be tolerant of people in favor of the newer stuff. I mean, uh, it's, it's, you know, wh why be polarized? Why be polarized? And, and more and more musicians are finding seamless ways to uh, transition from the old to the new and the new back to the old. And of course, at Christmas time, everybody sings the old. It's true. Hark well, the Herald Angels Sing. Never gets old. Never gets old. <laughs> well, the vision of these young people from Edmonton uh, is totally embraced by someone. I hope the kids are watching because mm. this is this is great. Last January, you know, I was at Breakforth mm. in Edmonton, where Avanti comes from, and I chatted with internationally renowned worship leader and songwriter Robin Mark from Ireland. Listen to what he has to say about where music is headed in the church. This is a new day. I think that that there, there will be more songs raised up in the individual local churches, that there'll be a song of worship. Uh, we, we got a, a word in our church at the beginning of the year that God was raising up a new song in our church. And the sense being that it wasn't that the old was to be set aside or what had gone before was to be forgotten about, but that we were to build on that foundation. And that songs would raise up in the individual's churches. And I think there'll be less of this, you know, the, the global phenomenon of great songs that are sung by everywhere. They'll still exist. There'll still be the, those that can minister in that way and they'll be picked up. But I think one of the exciting things, and I think God's gonna restore and build up worship in individual communities, individual churches. And that sense of worship and understanding what we're called for can't do anything but impact the community that they live in. So that, that's my sense of, of what's happening. I think less of the superstar type thing and more of the, the, the local church and the, the, the individuals actually just striving to give God the glory.